continuously reminded about the need in our community for blood and around our state. So it's just a simple way for us to, to give back and, and provide the gift of life. And you know, it's, uh, it's 20 minutes out of our day. And, and if we can do that to help someone, then we should. You know, I know with COVID and everything else going on that the shortage is um, it could be deadly for some and so I want to be uh, supportive in our community and I'll uh, hopefully save a life. There's a, there's a great need for blood and uh, you know people get injured or in car accidents things like that and uh, the, the supply is always low so any opportunity we have we need to try to, to give blood. There are so many people that need blood right now, not only in our community, but across um, all the devastated areas from the hurricane. We want to make sure that we're doing our part every time. Yeah. I know there's a lot of big need for this right now, so just wanted to uh, try to come out today and make sure that we're trying to help fill that need. I can tell you, donors, if you donate here today, your blood stays in this community to help your neighbors and friends because we're short in this area. It's just that simple. So while we'll bring extra blood in to, to meet those needs and everything, uh, with the COVID and the restrictions that's been put on that, it is just critical that people come out and give.